okay let us discuss this problem so what is this all about so let us draw this figure and then we will discuss what this is all about Okay, so what this problem says is, so this is an internal alkyne because triple bond is inside the uh, lithotic chain, it's not in the terminal side. This is a terminal alkyne, this is not alkene, so I have to write alkyne, so this is alkyne. So one is terminal alkyne and one is internal alkyne. Now the question says, if internal alkyne is treated with NH2 minus, it converts into terminal alkyne you have to propose a mechanism so you see what is happening you have internal alkyne you have a terminal alkyne there is an equilibrium between terminal alkyne and internal alkyne now if this equilibrium is in the presence of NH2 minus goes toward this side so question says internal alkyne can be converted into terminal alkyne in the presence of NH2 minus. Can you suggest a mechanism for this reaction, this isomerization? So this is a isomerization, nothing more. You have a triple bond inside, now you have a triple bond in the terminal side. So can you suggest a mechanism? I will give you a hint. NH2 minus can act as a base. Take a hydrogen from CS3, make carbon ion, write down the resonating structure and you will have a negative charge on carbon take a hydrogen from NH3 because you have formed NH3 NH2 takes H plus so you have formed NH3 so take a hydrogen from NH3 then you will get a something a lean kind of thing again attack again take H plus from NH2 minus again I uh, uh, write down the resonating structure take H plus from NH3 you will get the answer let me wait for 30 seconds Okay, let me see the solution. So you have a terminal alkyne CS3 and H2 minus can take H plus. This goes on carbon, so you have a negative charge here. So double bond, you have a negative charge on this carbon. Now this can isomerize, so this is isomerize, so resonance structure. So if you write this, this goes here. Now this carbon will have a negative charge. Now this carbon negatively charged carbon can take H plus from ammonia. So you have NH3. So it can take H plus from ammonia. So this H plus it takes. It forms something like this. Are you getting or not? In the next step again, NH2 minus can take H plus from here. It will form a carbon ion. So this is the carbon ion. Now this carbon ion again write resonating a structure. So this is again a resonating a structure. This goes here, this goes here. So this is a resonance. Now there will be a negative charge on this carbon. And this negative charge can take H plus from here. And if you take H plus, you will get the desired product. So let us write, copy this one, and then we'll discuss. So copy. Okay, so now I can say if this takes H plus from ammonia, I will have hydrogen attached here. So now this is isomerized into a terminal alkyne. So you see, NH2 minus can be used as isomerization of an alkene. Internal can be converted into terminal alkyne using the NH2 minus. This isomerization only takes place in the presence of NH2 minus. It does not take place in the presence of OH minus. So you cannot do this isomerization. This means you cannot convert internal alkyne into terminal alkyne in the presence of OH minus. Why this is so? This is because OH minus is a weak base 
and it cannot form a salt with terminal alkyne. So what is the salt? You see, if you have this, and if you if you want to take H plus from here, you will have a minus and plus. So this B, if the B is so, B, if B is NH2 minus, basically NH2 minus is taking one plus here. So if this B takes hydrogen, so B minus H plus you can write here. B minus H plus you can write here. If this B takes hydrogen here, I will form a salt. If this is NH2, it takes H plus from here. If this is OH minus, this is not able to take H plus from here because OH minus is not so a strong base. NH2 minus is a strong base. So why this isomerization does not take place in the presence of OH minus? Re reason is so simple that is OH minus is a weak base. So you have to remember this one. This isomerization cannot take place in the presence of OH minus because OH minus is a weak base. NH2 minus is a strong base and that's why this isomerization takes place in the presence of OH minus, NH2 minus. Did you get the point? So this is something about isomerization of an alkyne. So copy this one. Have you written? Okay, now if you have written, I can go for the next problem. 